Hello everybody. I hope everybody's home safe. I know these are hard times. Be strong and be safe please everybody. Um, today I'm going to make uh, something very quick. Quick snack actually. I have here one cup of water which is already boiling. Here I'm adding one cup of chickpea. Chickpea flour. Okay. We're going to stir that. Lower the heat. Don't do like I did. I forget to lower the heat to one number less than medium or more. You can lower it more so it can cook slowly and it prevents from sticking on the bottom and also burning, right? And you're going to need also more water because that was just one cup, right? We're going to add more here. Half a cup so far added. Extra. And I'm going to add some salt. Salt to taste. Cumin, just a touch. A little tiny pinch. Not much. And we're going to stir that. Okay. So this is going to be a quick snack. And kind of press down those little balls to try to make it more smoother. You can use a mashed potato presser or just the same spoon or a hand blender. Alright, so we want this more smoother. So we're going to try to blend this up. I kind of blend it a bit more so now it's a bit more smoother, not that full of balls. So we're going to just try to take out whatever we can. So now that this is more smoother, I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to add here cilantro and I'm going to add also some green onions. <laughs> Just chop two stalks, two green onions, and then we're just going to mix that up. And don't forget, once this cools down, it will get hard. So before this gets hard, we're going to do the next step. So you mix that well, so all is incorporated. If you want to add more cilantro, you go ahead and add it. I like cilantro I love it so I add a lot okay so that's done I'm also going to add a, a pinch of the garlic you can also add the raw garlic but since I didn't do that I'm just gonna put like half a teaspoon and that's it and mix it up and it's done what I'm going to do I'm going to use this this scoop i'm going to put some some oil inside to see if that will help for it not to stick so let's see if that works since the stove is still hot so i'm going to scoop this i'm going to scoop it and i'm going to start putting it in a parchment paper like that and just using the same spoon you can shape it right just kind of stick it together if you see any leaves sticking out so just just uh, scoop it out like that and then start putting it on your parchment paper. I'm going to make some balls and the same thing we repeat. Repeat all the way until I'm done the batter. Okay so we just do like that or you can use two spoons. I have this little spoon which is kind of like almost like a scoop and if you're brave <laughs> You can use your own hands. <laughs> Wait until it cools down, I guess. And then just put it there with the same spoon. Kind of shape it. Or with your finger, like so. I'm going to make some balls. Okay. All right, so that's what I'm going to do until the batter finishes. I'll be back once it's cooled down because I'm going to leave that. Once I'm done, I'm going to leave that to cool down. <laughs> So I greased up my hand and I just grabbed some some dough and then 
just make a little ball. It's not that hot, like burning hot, but it is uh, hot. So just make a little ball and that's it. My hands are still greasy, so it kind of helps with it. Okay, so they're ready. I made them, I tried to make them equal, but I ended up with a really small one. <laughs> But anyways, I'm not going for perfection. They're already getting hard. This one's already hard. See, it's not even sticking on my finger. So once they're nice and hard and firm, then it's ready to fry. Yes, for you people that are the healthy ones. So as you saw how I greased my hands, well, make sure they're all greased all around with your favorite oil. And then you can put them on a, a tray and then stick in, in the oven for uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes or until it's nice and golden. And maybe you will have to go in the middle timing to turn them over so they can uh, fry up nicely in the oven at 350 Fahrenheit but I prefer to fry them so I use coconut oil there was one gentleman that was disagreeing that I shouldn't be frying my foods well this is the way I prefer to fry them that's why I suggest for you to also use an oven as well everybody is their own boss in their own kitchen so they can do it as they wish a healthier way uh, or this way whichever way you wish these are just only ideas that I share with you all okay but you can cook it your way all right so now that these little balls have cooled and they're nice and firm so now we're gonna try to fry it my coconut oil is already nice and hot I'm going to lower the heat a bit so it doesn't burn and I have a bowl here and I'm gonna put some paper towel so when it's ready I'm just gonna just throw it in there okay so now let's begin I'm gonna start with the big ones I'm gonna put four at a time I'm gonna turn it it's a bit too hot let's turn them one goes in, the other one goes there. I'm going to keep on adding more and just turn them once they're golden. fry all of them like that and I'll be back okay so here is the results I hope you try this out I got like uh, 30 balls like really tiny balls you can do it any way you wish long like fries I don't know how you want to make it but everybody is their own boss in their own kitchen so they do it the way they want it's really tasty mostly I do this uh, without frying I throw it in the soup so it's without the all the onion and stuff uh, just plain or you can do it this way and throw it in the soup as well it's really tasty trust me very nice it's hard crunchy if you open it it's still soft a little soft inside outside it's nice and crispy anyways my friends if this is a short video i hope you try it out comment below let me know if you liked it or not or how you did it different or what you added different thumbs up share the video subscribe if you're new and don't forget to uh, click that bell so you don't miss any of my videos and hope to see you again in the next video thank you all for watching bye <laughs>